Hey everybody. Hi guys. So today we are hanging out at home. Mm -hmm. It's a home vlog. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make um, some dinner. We actually got a really awesome Christmas present from the parents that we haven't put out yet, so we're gonna do that. In this video, we'll show you what it is and how we're gonna set it up. We're still not exactly sure, but mm -hmm. yeah. Just hanging out at home today, we'll show you the pups. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna have a good time. Let's go have some fun. Thanks for hanging out. Woo! We are Kim and Aaron, and this is Zach and Cody. We are best friends living and traveling full time in our renovated RV, Lucy. We have been on the road since October 2020, so please subscribe to join in on all the fun. -E RV TV. K and E R V TV. Sing it with us. K and E R V TV. All right, here's our Christmas gift we got from the parents. And what it is, is an outdoor rug. So it's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm tall enough to show I don't think you are. <laughs> And it has our name on it. Lift it up higher, Aaron. That's about as higher. <laughs> Go on the step. Oh, it's so cute. Home is where you park it. All right, we're gonna put it out. There it is. Love it. We did have to move our stabilizers under the steps for it to like lay flat underneath there, which was a pain. these stakes, so I'm gonna try to stake, stake it in. Straps in the ground. Why does bending over get harder when you get older? That's not fair, right? <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, I'll leave the bending over to you. Of course. Per usual. Per usual. And this is what I bought Aaron for Christmas. Our little flag stand. It came with like 15 different interchangeable flags. So next holiday is Valentine's Day. But one thing that does stink about our spot is there is a lot of dirt. Not a lot of grass and a lot of dirt. So all these rugs that we have really help with the amount of dirt that we bring inside the RV. And the dogs too. They're, oh, yeah. they're, they're the dogs the are the main culprits. The, the main culprits. These um, plastic stakes are not. The, the dirt is too soft? I think so. They're like bending. I have some metal ones. Oh, we have metal tent stakes, yeah. Oh, Another good thing about our spot right now is that in the evening it's really shaded. The sun goes down the other side. So we don't even need to put our awning out because awnings can get ripped away from RVs very easily in any kind of bad wind so it's better for us just to leave it closed if we can so Aaron any luck finding the stakes nope <laughs> we got bins of stuff so. yeah we move things around quite often when you have a lot a lot of storage you just make it work when you can we alternate things seasonally but I don't know why you don't listen to me to begin Great with success. guess where they were in the camping bin ding 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 Ooh. I didn't know they were in there. I, the first thing I said was they're in the camping bin. There are they? I don't know. They were in here. We got it all staked in. Good job, Aaron. Secure, You're the real MVP. We'll <laughs> now we just have all of our other rugs that we are going to try to organize in the rest of the space. Put our little picnic table back. And I, think, I mean, I was thinking we don't even, since we want to cover as much dirt as possible, we don't need another rug on here. On there? And just, you know what I mean, use it to and go cover the dirt. Off. I'm <laughs> telling you, we have, that's the biggest, we love this spot, but the dirt is no place. Yeah. <laughs> it's like every... You got dirt in your Crocs I, right I now? <laughs> Guys, I got new Crocs. You want to see? <laughs> I love them. Tardar. <laughs> we did it. I think it's where we want it for now, at least for what we have. We're using what we have. Mm -hmm. but we wanted to thank Daddy and Mama Bear mm -hmm. for our awesome bread. Thank you guys. We'll let you know how it does. <laughs> right, I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, even the puppies wanted to come out and see it, but we got, we just left the picnic table over on the side over there. We never use it, so we just put it out the way. We have our other table. And here's all the rugs. Trying to minimize all the dirt. But yeah. Looks awesome. I think it should help. Yeah, for sure. Fingers crossed. <laughs> How's dinner going, ma'am? It's about well, like two hours left. Two hours? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I don't I know if I could wait that long. A crock pot meal. Crock pot? Yeah. Why are you confused? I don't know. I, I know what's happening. <laughs> Slow cooker, crock pot? Slow cooker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you want to show them? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, what are you drinking, Aaron? Michelob Ultra Infusion with pomegranate and agave. They're on mm. sale at Publix, so I figured why not. So we're having a Publix meal today mm -hmm. instead of Aldi's? Mm -hmm. Publix for the win! We can sponsor us too, Publix. <gasps> yeah, Publix. <laughs> it is a Publix. 
We're going in. We're going in. Bye, puppies. Smells good. What do we got? I don't know if with the light. Don't up. open it. From the light outside, I don't know if you can even see. But basically, it was a pork loin fillet, two pounds. I just dropped that in the crock pot with some garlic and herb. No, I'm calling it wrong. Garlic spread seasoning. I use this a lot. Mm, that's from if Costco. If you've watched our videos, you have seen me. I use this. I need to get some because I'm almost out. We do need to make a Costco trip. For sure. For sure. Anyway, so um, I put that with that, the loin with the seasoning, and then I have some small um, celebration potatoes, which are, they're kind of like, not super tiny, you know, mm -hmm. small, medium size, a whole Vidalia onion, and mushrooms. Mm. And I put some olive oil, I toss the, all the vegetables together with some olive oil and that seasoning as well, and then just dump that on top. So, four hours on both. And we'll see how it goes. I can't wait. Yeah, I haven't done this particular version before. I just kind of threw stuff together. So if it's good, I'll actually just leave a comment and I'll send you the recipe if you're interested. What's your appetizer? Good question. I really don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just the pain. <laughs> She's hangry. So if you watched our um, Medieval Times video, which was a few days ago, uh -huh. I got this souvenir drinking cup, which is awesome, and I decided to use it to hold my extra cooking utensils because I have a lot and I set it so up right over there. I love it. I put all the wooden ones in there to be like it's more meaningful. Uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> that was my my plan so yeah. Yay. So while the dogs aren't in here, I want to show you a few new additions we have added to the RV. I got a new chair cover for my chair here. The other one got ripped. The dogs would like climb on it and got ripped. So we got a new one. We got a new uh, like jackknife sofa cover. And we got a new rug, the gray rug. The old rug is the one that's outside there. Got all yucky. So we got a new one. It's really soft and nice. Well, you're because, of, our stuff. because of the dirt, we got a mat here for the inside. And then I got a new uh, bathroom one over there. Matches all the colors, teal, gray, white. You love it all? Yeah. I'm happy. Yay. Like oh. we, had, we had the floor to freeze. Was it last weekend? Weekend before that? It got so cold in Orlando. We even had to put our heated hose out. Oh, it's on here in Florida. Yeah, because it got to like 30 degrees. Yeah, when we purchased that hose, we never thought we'd have to use it in Florida. Like, never. Yeah, we sure did. <laughs> but we had to get a new ceramic heater because our other one dropped on the floor and broke. So yeah, we don't use our we don't use our furnace. Yeah. Mainly because we haven't really needed to. We the space heaters do the job. And the furnace also runs up propane, which we have to pay for. Which yes. Can, can, can be more expensive than electricity. Yeah, and our propane tank is built in, so anytime we have to refill it, we have to move the whole entire yeah, RV. Yeah, drive it there. But the, the little space heaters work fine because we're yeah. our RV small, so yeah. it heats up pretty. I have I've had to huh. turn them off in the middle of the night. Yeah. It's so hot. Especially my bed is up high. You know, heat rises. Heat rises. So pins freeze up. So I am freezing. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, I don't like heat anyway, so the space heaters work great. Yeah. It takes the chill out of the air and mm -hmm. they have a lot of safety features so you don't have to worry about overheating. If they fall over, they turn off. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hi puppies, you being good boys out here? Neither one of you are laying in your bed. <laughs> I know, so Cody loves to just lay in the dirt too. Yes. He loves that. You he both need, like both need baths too. Who wants a bath? Yeah, they yeah? definitely need baths. Guys. I love the rug, it looks so much brighter out here. Mm -hmm. It is so hot today. Y'all want to know the temperature here in Kissimmee? I don't even know what it is. 82! Uh, oh, I haven't felt the 80s in a minute. Yes, we've enjoyed it. I did not here. miss it. No, definitely not. But yeah, definitely not. next week is supposed to get back to be a little cooler, thank God. But I know a lot of you out there are jealous. I put a fan on out here. I don't know if you're talking about that. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, that's how on. hot it is. It feels good, though. With, with the fan on, it feels nice. I'll keep the bugs away too. Seriously, I'm about, to go jump, I'm about to go jump in our pool we have I know, here. we did talk about doing that. Today. Our pool's heated here too. Yeah. It's, it's heated right now and it's mm -hmm. hot. There were people in the other day when it was like in the 60s. I was like, all right, they must be from up north. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. Cody okay, wants to go? Ready. Okay, let's go. He's like, I'm tired of waiting for you. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even get to hold the dog. <laughs> They're old men. Oh, are they old men? They are old men. This is our park. It's cute. There's a lot of trees over here. It's nice and shaded. We even have a dog park right here. So, super close. Most hunters come and let them go in there and do their business, but they love going for their walks. 
Zachary is hunting for squirrels. Where's that squirrel? Get him. Where's he at? <laughs> Where'd he go? Is he up there? Yeah. He's too high for you. <laughs> at night, sometimes we can even see like the Disney fireworks like happening like back over here. This is actually a pretty, pretty big park. Our spot's like way back in the back over there by the trees behind that building. But a lot of people here are full time. It's a good spot here in Central Florida for full timers. One of the good things about our park is it's a gated park, so you gotta have a code to get in. Aaron, they got water aerobics. I know in line Monday. dancing. Oh yeah, and line dancing classes. <laughs> There's our garbages where we throw our garbage, which is also not too far. From Lucy who's right there she's so pretty okay we're home oh my god did you see him he went from the floor <laughs> to the second step he's an animal and his back's been hurting him too you're not supposed to jump like that you're not supposed to jump like that you had a good walk you want some water you want some water <laughs> so another amazing Christmas present that we got is yes. our awesome new faucet hot yes Amazing brother and sister-in-law got us this and put it in because he happens to be a plumber. So thank you again. We Thanks love bro. it. I love you, Brian. It's been working amazing. It's got this whole mm -hmm. attachment. I can make it spray. It's very easy for me to get any large stuff in the sink because the sink is not, you probably can't really tell from this angle, but the sink is not big. It's not deep. So this new faucet is a godsend. Woo. Thank you, bro. <laughs> we love it. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. Oh, you mean moonshine? Moonshine! <laughs> it's my adult sippy cup. Yeah. <laughs> At least it didn't spill over herself. <laughs> Yummy. Yummy inch right now. We decided we still have like about an hour and 15 minutes until dinner is finished cooking in the crock pot. So why not take some trouble? Guess where we got the moonshine from? Publix! Publix liquor store. So they don't have be. a wild variety. I'm um, old smoky. It's the only one I've seen in Publix anyway. I know um, Total Wine carries Sugarlands Sugar and Old Smoky. Yeah, so this one I love. It's only 40%, but it tastes like freaking grape juice. Yeah, so if you're missing your moonshine like us, mm -hmm. check your local liquor stores because yes. they might have it. Yeah, so we're, and we even have our little. But yeah, so over Christmas we did our own moonshine tasting with our family. Yes. I didn't film it or anything. But we bought the little sample cups <laughs> off Amazon. <laughs> the little communion cups. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to do our own tasting? Yeah. Well, not really. I guess not tasting, but we know what it tastes like. But so this flavor is drinking. this flavor is blackberry. And it's actually really good. It's even good warm. It doesn't yeah, even really have to chill. be chilled. It kind of tastes like grape juice almost. It's only 40 proof. So it's easy to throw this one back. Oh, so easy. Cheers. Aaron's Aaron's been addicted to the hundred proof uh, peppermint. Yeah, so I had to slow down. But it's a hundred proof, and yeah, she got her in trouble a couple of times. A little bit, a little bit of trouble. <laughs> this one's nice. You can mix it with lemonade or Sprite. It's Yummy. Really good too. If you want a mixed drink, but yeah, we enjoy it. It's super easy, super yeah. easy one. Not harsh at all. I love our poor top. <laughs> Literally, mm -hmm. the <laughs> don't put your mouth on it, nasty. <laughs> all right, so we just found a stink bug in the RV. Kim is trying to collect him somehow. We've had this happen a few times. They're very prevalent in like RV parks and foresty tree areas. But if they, yeah, if they expel their stuff, it's pretty rough. Come on, you stupid stink bug! I just want to save you. Wait, right? We're trying to help you. We're trying to help you. You can do it, Kim. I have faith in you. I just want to suck him up with the vacuum. Oh, 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 oh. All right, now just put the water bottle like, like around him. Yeah, go, go in your hole. Go in the hole. You can do it, you can do it. He's in. You got him. There he goes. All right, set him free. What are we doing, Coats? Drinking moonshine and catching stink bugs. <laughs> Welcome to K&E RV TV. <laughs> RV life. Woo! All right, so it's been four hours. It's time. You just time. I don't know if it's cooked or what's happening, so we're gonna figure it out at this point. Don't drop it. Mm, it smells. 
so delicious. Yet, though, yet, so. <laughs> 162. Is it supposed to be 165? It's close yeah. enough. Think so? Let me get, let me slap it. Well, no, I want it to rest first. Let it rest. Yeah. It'll probably cook a little more sitting here. You want to take a peek in here? That way, don't trip me. <laughs> That's what we got going on the potatoes and the onions and the mushrooms. It smells. It smells so, so freaking good. Good. And this crock pot for the RV, it only uses like three or four amps yeah. on low, so they are great for RVs. They don't use a lot of power at all. Yeah, and the fact that you can just throw everything in and just kind of add what you want. Like a hint of pink. Hint of pink. I think we'll live. I'm excited. It smells so good. All right, we always add cheese to everything. This but here's our plate. So good. Yeah, put some Parmesan cheese on top. Here's my plate. Cody is drooling over here. He wishes he could have some. Mm, yeah. No pork for you. I'm excited. Dig in. I want to see what you think. Cause again, it just kind of something I threw together. So hopefully it's yummy. Oh, Zach's looking for something too. Sorry, Smack. Sorry, not sorry. No. <laughs> I am kind of sorry. I should make you some fun. I'm sure they'll get a piece. <laughs> Ooh, that potato. No Ooh. onions, though. Ooh. Onions are bad for dogs. Hot. Hot. <laughs> Can you taste anything or just hot? <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Erin. You're welcome. You got your little purple potatoes? Yeah, they're fun. <laughs> what do you think? Mm -hmm. Good, right? Nice and tender. Mm -hmm. Yummy. You're the best cook ever. I wouldn't say that, but I'm all right. <laughs> all you did was throw it in the crock pot, right? Yeah. The crock so pot does all the work. We literally need to do it more often, man. For real. It's so easy. It took me five minutes to put everything together. Uh -huh. And then you just gotta wait for it, then you gotta smell it all day. That's the hard part. Yeah. <laughs> Worth the week. Mm -hmm. Kim, it's time. Celebrity Big Brother! Celebrity Big Brother! It's the two hour eviction night. We love the show. It's one of our favorite shows. It's my guilty pleasure is reality TV. Oh, yeah. I was never interested. Kim totally I've, got me I've into seen it. Every Big Brother, every Survivor. <laughs> yeah. From all over the world, <laughs> not just US Survivor. All the yeah. Survivors. <laughs> all the reality TV. Yeah. Right. I'm all about it. But we're excited. We're going to watch this tonight and then we're going to eat some dessert later. We'll show you what that is. Let's do it. Dessert? Yeah. <laughs> Here is our dessert. Some Belgian custard cream mini eclairs. You get them in the frozen section at your grocery store. You let them sit out for like 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Some yummy junk on the inside. You know, we only eat like one or two. But. <laughs> Hi, Julie Chen. Julie Chen, what's up? Oh, look at that dark chocolatey goodness. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight, guys. We had a great time. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. We were productive, putting out our rug. We love it. Thanks again, Dad and Diane. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. I'm so excited to walk out and see it every day. <laughs> and hopefully we'll, we have minimized our dirt. For real. I, I hope. hope so. I hope, I hope, I hope. All right, guys. But the boys had fun. We enjoyed our walk. We, our dinner was great. We ate um, most of that tub of eclairs. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but they're so good. If, again, if you see them in the grocery store, check them out because they're really, really delicious. Mm -hmm. But we had a great time. Thank you for hanging out with us. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye.